Welcome to a new course about Angular Reactive Forms. And in this course, we're going to be building this form right here. And what we'll go into is form groups, form controls. We'll be using the uh, form builder class. We'll be setting up nested form groups. That's what this address section is about. And also, we'll be using the form arrays. And that's what we did down here. Also, we're going to set up some common validation, like this field right here is required if you click out of it. We'll get into validation like that. Also, there's some custom validation like unique uh, username. Like if you use the admin, you get an error for that. Username is taken. I'll show you how to set up some validation, custom validation for that. And also confirm password. We have some custom validation for that as well. So that's what we'll be setting up in this course. Down here is a whole list of what we'll be doing in this course. And we're currently on video one. And the goal for this video is to just download the GitHub repository and set it up on our machine. I already have the command line open and we're uh, ready. I'm going to set up the project at the root of my machine. And to get the project, you go to the description below and you'll find a link uh, right here. Click on that link in the description. You'll end up on this page and let's clone this. So I'm just going to copy it to the clipboard. Go back to the command line and then let's clone our project. So git clone. And I'll paste that from our clipboard. Now let's navigate into that new folder. So change directory and form. And then let's jump into it. I'll open it up with Visual Studio Code. Oops, and I want to actually code dot like that. I always mix that up. And here in Visual Studio Code, uh, this is what you should have. And then let's run npm install. This will install all the packages that you're going to need. So I'll open this up in the command line again and run npm install. And this is take a couple minutes. Now that we installed all our packages, you should have the node modules folder here with all your packages in it. Now we're ready to run the application and I'll just run this in a new tab here. I'll just open up a new tab and then all you, all you do to run it is run ng serve. All right, so we are up and running. If we go back here and if I go back here and refresh this, and it's all running okay so this is what you should see now let's say you want to jump back to an earlier version let's say you want to start at video 2 that's where the course actually starts at we could jump back to a different branch and I'll show you how to do that if we go back to here we need to grab the commit number so click on commits and then wherever you want to start at in this case you want to start at video 2 if you're starting off at the beginning so uh, go over here and copy the clipboard and you want to get that commit number and then if we go back to the command line and I'll open another window again and then you want to put in git checkout and paste in that uh, commit number all right and that should jump us over to video 2 and then if we go back to here and uh, you should be at this point then you should only see one input field and you're all set and ready to go in the next video, we're going to start configuring our reactive form module, and we'll do that in the next video. So I'll see you then.